My name is Richard Wittenberg, and I'm here today working with Spinergy on helping you understand all the benefits to the classified uh, internal transmission for your bike. So imagine if you took the front derailleur from your bike and you put it in the hub of the bike, and that's what we've done. Using a planetary gear system, all sealed inside of here, we allow you to change the effective ratios in the rear of your bicycle by 30%. So when the system is in standard mode, it's a one-to-one -one relationship of the rotation of the wheel to the uh, cassette. And then when you, sw you uh, hit your switch, then it reduces it. So you actually only turn the wheel uh, 0.7 rotations for a full rotation of, of the cassette. So that's effectively the same as moving from the large chain ring on your bike to the small chain ring on the bike. So what else makes it, it special? Because clearly 24 gears is going to be better than 12 speeds, which is what you get with your typical one by system. So this allows you to get that same range, but with much more finite spaces between each of the gears. So you don't go from being spinning yourself out to being so over geared, you're gonna fall over. This allows you to have all of the benefits of that two by drivetrain with all of the benefits you also get with the one by drivetrain. So how does it all go together? And we'll talk a little bit more about its benefits as we're, we're putting it together. So when you buy your set of Spinergy wheels or um, you will see a hub that looks Maybe black, maybe blue, but it'll look a little bit like this. And this is where the magic all starts to happen. So in the box, you will get one of these, the transmission um, uh, modules, as I call it, or we also refer to it as the hub itself. And it simply fits together. And then there's a lock ring, which we recommend you use some medium um, Loctite on. And then using a standard um, freewheel whip, you will tighten this down to 40 Newton meters, which is about the same as what you would do, use for the cassette. Then you will mount the cassette. Now these are proprietary to the system. And we have ranges from 11 to 27 to 11 to 34 in both 11 and 12 speeds. And we're also introducing some um, additional ratios in the fall, but pretty much everything you would possibly want right now, you can get in the system. Then you mount the cassette. First thing is don't ever forget this little washer that fits over that. Then your cassette will just index into place. And then all you're going to do is, just like you would mounting any other cassette, you just thread it right on. Now, there is one trick to this, is as you tighten this down, you're going to want to hold the cassette stable with a chain whip in the reverse direction so that it doesn't spin and you're not putting torque on the system itself. And I did it backwards, so it's gotta be more like that. And then you can just tighten it on, 40 Newton meters. Then you're gonna install your rotor. Use the supplied lock ring also to 40 Newton meters. And then you're gonna lock that down. And it's not on a wheel, so it's hard to do, so I'm just gonna fake it there. And then you would install, this is what we call a tor torque arm, or it basically um, prevents it holds the wheel in place. So think about your old coaster brake bike. It prevented, it prevents the, the axles from coming out. So it just sits up against your frame. And that's all there is to installing it in your bike. Now, 
the communication between everything that's in the hub and the actual shifting is all done with these three pieces. So I'm going to put this aside for right now. We'll come back to that. Is there is a thumb button that you can mount anywhere on the left side of the bars that you would like. And then it routes through this wire into this module. And this module sits in the far end of the bike. So it then communicates wirelessly to this through axle. So the most critical piece of installation of a classified system is ensuring that you have the correct through axle and the correct uh, number of washers on the end to make sure that it is properly indexed in your frame. Now, it sounds scary, but it really is pretty simple. Um, if you can see, there are two lines that are on this axle. And it's important that the inside of the left dropout reside between these two, uh, these two lines. If it does not um, reside between those two lines, the system will not function properly. It may sound crunchy, it may not you know, shift accurately, it may burn through batteries because it's not going to sleep properly. So that is the only super critical piece of this whole thing, installation, is just making sure that you get the right through axle with the right number of spacers. And we have fitment charts that we're building out and either the people at Spinergy can help you make sure you get the right one, uh, or you can work with your local shop or call Classified USA and we can help you get set up with the right spacers. But that's the only piece that you have to be super, super careful about. So then, you know, looking at this as if it was in a bike, so it would all kind of reside like this with this unit pointing up towards the handlebars. And then you will actually, it will activate through pressing this bu button and it will actually shift from engaged to disengaged through that. And that's all there is to it. Once you've got it paired and plugged in, you're off to the races and hopefully winning. So where do you want to go from here?